Government has been criticized over time for laxity on the global phenomenon climate change. Feminine floods in eastern Uganda as well as El Nino rain in various parts of the country have always caught government off guard, prompting critics to question government's ability to respond to natural calamities. Jessica Rio, the Environment Minister, while speaking at the African Initiative Congress on Climate Change in Munyonyo, says government has put in place some measures to reduce effects of climate change. We're going to run away from climate change. It has come. It is here with us. What we need to do is to build that resilience, the capacity to survive with climate change. As a developing country, our capacities are very low. The technical capacities are not there. We cannot, for example, pump out water quickly when there is a flood. Uh, when there is drought, we still don't have the capacity to ensure that we irrigate our crops. So those are some of the things that government has identified over the years. Uh, we have our National Adaptation Program of Action, which we want to review now, but also implement it. The Congress has brought together environmentalists in government and civil society organizations, students from selected secondary schools and universities, as well as delegates from all over the African continent to build capacity in the fight against climate change and its effects. Our objective is to begin uh, creating awareness on, in Africa on climate change, on issues surrounding climate change, and begin asking our leaders, our political leaders, policy makers, to start putting emphasis, integrating climate change into our development plans. Climate change has awoken the spirit of working together among the developed and less developed countries with the forthcoming Copenhagen December summit, a sing-along song in all countries. African countries for the first time are preparing to send delegations to represent all the countries. Renowned Kenyan climate scientist Dr. Gilbert Ouma says Kenya, unlike Uganda, is lagging behind in the struggle. Uh, Policy-wise, we have been a little slow. We've had uh, disaster risk management policy in the works for a long time. Since 2002, it has been draft. Till now, it's still a draft. Uh, climate change itself as a policy has not been developed yet. But it's, you find climate change in all other policies that are there. The drive now is to try and get out a climate change policy. The Congress is organized by the Canada-based Center for International Government Innovation, the Salama Shield Foundation and Macquarie University with a view to build capacity amongst leaders. Richard Wire, the chairperson of Butaleja District, says the Eastern District has planted trees to control the floods, famine and droughts that have characterized eastern Uganda. We are encouraging them to plant trees so that we have increased the tree cover and, and the grass cover so that uh, uh, the, 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 the area is not left uh, bare to be washed away by sporadic rain and, and wind. This report was compiled by Tiawa Abaka Setumba for NBS News in Munyonyo.